Okay, hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to print a packing slip from zero. Now recently, I had a look at the quarterly zero webinar. Every quarter they put out a webinar for uh, zero certified advisors, showing them some of the updates that have been done in the quarter, some of the improvements that have been made to the system, as well as things that they are planning to roll out in the future. Now, in this particular update, it was early August 2021, and they introduced a new feature that allows you to send uh, and print packing slips direct from your invoice, which a lot of people will really enjoy. Because in the past, you had to go into settings, invoice settings, and you had to create a custom invoice. So you went here, new branding theme, and went custom dot doc. And then from there, you basically had to go in and manipulate the document to reflect a packing slip. So we'll just have a quick look at this. Okay, so we've got the new branding theme down the bottom here. And you had to go download. And then you basically had to go in and change one of these. So you'd probably go into the invoice template and you had to go into the document. Let's just open it up. And you still can't do this, by the way, if you want to have more flexibility over how you want your packing slip to look. And here we go. So basically, you had to go in and change the title here, for instance, to packing slip. And then you'd go down here and you'd change the layout here so you'd probably get rid of the dollar amount currency you'd keep the quantity unit price you might get rid of all this sort of you know financial stuff and just keep the quantity information move things around to make it look more like a packing slip so it could be done but it was a bit of a pain what you can do now is you can go straight to your invoice so we'll go business invoices We're going to look at this one here, Bayside Club. And we're in classic invoicing here, which I still like to use. But to use this, oh no, sorry, I've actually already switched over to new invoicing. So how it normally is, how I use it anyway, you might already be on new invoicing but you might be used to seeing it like this, your invoice template like this. So then you'd scroll down and you go switch to new invoicing. Which is basically the same, but it, things look a bit different. And as we're about to see, there's a bit of added extra functionality. So what we can do now, this is new invoicing, but more or less the same, just looks a bit different. A few extra things here you can do. So um, we're going to go print PDF, but we're going to go packing slip. And that's it guys, as easy as that. Built into the system, you don't need to upload any template, uh, download, manipulate and upload again. Here we have our inbuilt packing slip. You can just generate it with a click of the button. So as you can see here, we've got a courier charge for one and 40 white golf balls. So you'll send this to a customer and they'll use this document to basically tick off their purchase and make sure you've sent them what was agreed and they're being charged accordingly. So it's a pretty simple but very common document that most businesses will be using if they're involved with inventory in any way. 
So from here, we can download it, print it, attach it to emails and so forth. And that's pretty much it, guys. Just a pretty quick little video there. I wanted to show you this new feature that's been released that a lot of people will like if they're running inventory businesses. So if you'd like to book in a training session, hit us up in the description. There's a link there to Q Training. We also provide bookkeeping services. If you want to get someone out to help you with the books, let us know about that as well. If you enjoyed the video, please hit like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.